Hello, this is John Sims with the Advised Serviceability Engineering Team. In this video, I'll cover how to configure PLDS, otherwise known as the Product Licensing Delivery System Access, on Avaya or System Manager for Avaya B1500 branch gateway purposes. Before we get started with the quick configuration, first a few notables. System Manager Download Manager helps you download software releases either from Avaya PLDS or SFAP. Software Firmware Access Policy is used for legacy devices like Communication Manager and Media Gateways, but starting in 6.2 release, System Manager will now also support the B1500 Branch Gateway whose software is available in the Avaya PLDS system. And what's happening behind the scenes with System Manager is it's checking the Avaya support site for a versions underbar sp.xml and comparing it against currently installed software that the System Manager has inventory on to see if the latest available software is indeed delivered and installed from Avaya PLDS. The file versions sp.xml is regularly updated with the latest firmware software releases available for upgrade on the Avaya support site. So here we are in the System Manager landing page, and we're going to first head to the Inventory Elements. So under the Inventory subpages, I'm going to expand Upgrade Management. Before we can use anything in Upgrade Management, we have to set the user settings. And we have specific ones now for B5800, so I'll hit Edit on this form page. Again, I'll slide the screen down so we see everything. Everything's now in proper focus, meaning we can edit it. And the first thing here is we use a VIA support site. You want to leave that. If you want to download the settings file, these, the versions under bar sp.xml file, and host that on your own website, web server, this is how you would do it. You would uncheck that and provide your other server. But we advise you use the Avaya support site, of course, pointing back to Avaya to control that file. And then for SSO, of course, you'll use your account handle and you'll confirm your password. You'll enter your password and confirm it for your single sign-on login. Now we can also give you a proxy configuration here because most corporate configurations or networks I should say rely on a proxy server to access the internet. So here's where you'll check box use proxy and you'll enter your proxy server by fully qualified domain name or IP address and the unique port that you have to communicate to the proxy server on for your web traffic. Now I'll, we've entered everything we need for PLDS. You can safely ignore all of this SFAP configuration at the bottom of the screen. We really only need the top part of this configuration screen for user settings for B1500 purposes using PLDS. So I'll select commit on the page and if you check status you'll see that it saves successfully. Now just to make a quick point about the requirement of setting user settings, if you go to manage software, you'll see that we even have a note here that the analyze operation cannot recommend entitled version of devices without the correct user settings. So in order for B5800 devices that are inventoried and analyzed by System Manager, the PLDS settings have to be configured so we can make use of the versions underbar sp.xml file to determine if an upgrade is required and then contact PLDS and pull down that software. So you'll see it's an important first step before you make use of any of the upgrade management tools now built into System Manager in order to manage the B1500 branch gateway. And this completes our demonstration of configuring PLDS user settings for the Avaya B1500 branch gateway. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.